Hey, hey everybody. Today is Wednesday. It's the 24th of November. It is the day before Thanksgiving. And we all know Thanksgiving is a man-made day that was created, right? And then put forth for commercialization of the sales before Christmas season. Eh, okay, fine. But it is a day of non-denomination. It is a day that you can gather with family and just give thanks for all the things. But I know that this year there's a lot of discord and disconnection over so many different things. I did a video on that yesterday. But let me go to the here and the now, and let me go into applying this, whether you're cooking for yourself or you're cooking for someone else. So I've been asked to make a dish to bring to family, right? And so I've not made this dish before. So I've gone and I've gathered all the ingredients, brought it home to lay it out and I can make it exactly according to recipe and be happy with it. Take it, I'm sure people will enjoy it. But because I know who I am as this divine creator being of God, I know my power. And my power is in my energy and in my frequency and on what frequency I choose to vibe on. So in cooking this particular dish, I am filled with love and joy that it's been asked of me to make it. So I'm going to peel every potato with so much love and gratitude for my two hands, for my sharp knife, for my heart that's preparing it. I'm going to be grateful for a stove, although it's not gas, it's electric at the time, it's not my fave, but I'm gonna infuse it with love and appreciation because it's gonna heat up and get the job done. I'm gonna add the additional ingredients and I'm going to fold it in with love. So everything that I'm doing, every pinch of salt, every clove of garlic, whatever it is, every dab of this, every drop of that, I'm going to infuse it for the highest vibration of the divine love so that each person that partakes of this dish can feel that vibrational love. That's the power that you hold. That's the original source of pre preparing food as well. It's a heartfelt in order to give people nutrients and have that nutrient be vibrationally in harmony with the persons that are partaking of it, whether it's just yourself or it's guest at your table or wherever. You're not just putting things together, running to and fro in the kitchen. It's a chore, it's a job. Things are you know, in my way, I've gotta pay attention to this. This is happening, I'm anticipating this while I'm gathered with everyone tomorrow. So then you work yourself up into this place of angst, maybe a place of not being so mindful because you're elsewhere in your thoughts. So I'm gonna ask each and every one of you to just bring it all in, bring it all in, bring it all up and allow this to just permeate the room, permeate every fingertip, your hands, extensions of your heart. So everything that you're preparing, 
You're literally blessing it for divine accordance for everyone that partakes, which is the highest good. Now, they may not recognize that and that's not the point. If you're looking for accolades, like, oh my God, the dish was fantastic. Thank you. What did you do? What's your secret in it? Blah, 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 blah. That's coming back and it's feeding the ego. Okay? You're doing it because it's the, the natural law. And because you choose to align with the original God source natural law of love, do no harm, always place things in the highest for others through yourself, because you're, you're responsible for all this, right? You're responsible for every drop of it, everything. Your energy zone, your crystal egg, it's your responsibility, it's my responsibility. What you do isn't what I would do. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But you gotta align and really feel it, tap into that. Maybe put on some music that you enjoy listening to. Maybe do the cooking when you're not so distracted so that you're placing that heart, soul, felt, vibrational love and energetic frequencies. So whoever's enjoying it, it's enjoying it with that loving activation. I know that's what I'm about to do. You now I think to myself, damn, I gotta peel like 15 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> like, well, let's get moving on that 15 pounds of potatoes. Let's get it going. And let's enjoy every moment of it to the best of my ability because I'm consciously setting my intentions to enjoy. And bless it all. And then always you make sure that, you know, when you're, you're ready to partake of something else, if your family's not a big prayer family or they're generic prayers, um, which many are, just know that you can infuse all of that and you can set the intention that every bite is already, it's already harmonizing calibrating within the body to receive every bite that you choose to take that it is it is giving your body the nutrition and discards what is not needed so you might when you get in that really comfortable blessing state you're not ravenous and just double forking it you know like looking around the room what else you're gonna get that's what happens. You slow your roll. You prepare the body, the bodies, to ingest this food to the highest calibration. So, just enjoy all of this. Enjoy it. Just be fully present with whatever's being presented. <sighs> That's right. Connect with that breath. All right. See ya.